Hey, welcome to another episode of Can We Build It? Where we're going to try and look at something we've seen on the internet and see if we can recreate it in Squarespace. So this is a client that I've been working with on some other projects, but I saw this on their website and I thought it would be cool to try and rebuild this in Squarespace. They, they have a Webflow website, um, but this just looks like a you know summary block list layout section, um, but with these different colors. I want to try and make these different colors uh, pop up within the content of our list section or our, our our list summary block. So that's what we're gonna jump into right now. So I'm gonna just whoop, whoop, fast forward a little bit. I have done some of the structuring already, just sort of the default layout um, to get this aligned so our, our content is centered with our image. Um, I'm not really gonna jump into this this video just because it's the, a whole nother set of things I wanna talk about today, changing the, mul doing multicolored items. Um, but high level, if you want to adjust the, the positioning of our content right here, change this justify content to start, that'll move it to the top or end, and that'll move it to the bottom. But we're gonna keep it on center for right now. So. With that said, let's jump in. So what I want to change is the background of our summary content. So how do I know it's a summary content? Well, if I jump into the code inspector, click on our little selection tool right here, hover over our item. So this is our entire summary item right here. Let's zoom in a little bit. This is our entire summary item right here. Scrolling down, you see it has two components, our summary thumbnail outer container in our summary content. And so this is what I'm targeting in my CSS right here. So I'm gonna target our summary content and I'm gonna say background, let's just be really, really boring and just say like gray. <laughs> Very boring, but you see what it is doing right there. So, okay, but that's doing every single one. I don't want it to color every single one. I'm gonna close the web inspector. What I want it to do is cycle through. I want it to color, I want to cycle through three, colors of three, and just color every one a different color. So the way you cycle through things is you can use this nth of type pseudo selector. So I'm going to, instead of jumping right into summary content, every summary content element, we're gonna do summary item. We're gonna only target this summary con content element within the nth of type one. Now we're selecting only the first summary item right here, this first one, and then within it, we're selecting its summary content. And so this is the way you can cycle through items on a summary list um, and just target each one individually and do different things. And so I could also do this. Let's change this to a more fun color. We'll, we'll do uh, uh, pink, we'll start with pink. So there we go. So now let's do this again and we'll say uh, light blue. And so that's the first, but we change this to two. And now our second. So we have our first one pink and our second one light blue. And then let's do one more, maybe our third one, let's say light green. So there we go. But still, it's not cycling through all of the ones we have. We'd have to do a different nth of type, adding in another number for each one. This isn't really the best way to do this. So what we want to use is a functional expression how fun is that word? Functional expression inside of our nth of type. And we can do that using the notation a n plus b. And n stays as is, and a and b can be any integer value we want. So let's talk about what that is. So if I want it to cycle through every third, I could say three n. So it'll multiply everything by three, and then the starting position on our first element. So now this is saying, so what, what is happening in the background, what the code is doing, it's replacing n with any integer starting with zero and just moving up based on how many items we have. So let's start with zero. Let's walk through the math that the computer is doing. So let's start with zero. Three times zero is zero plus one. So our first item. Now let's do three times one is three plus one. So that is our fourth item. One, two, three, four, great. Three times two, that's our second one, six plus one, that's our seventh item. Four, five, six, 
seven. So you see what this is doing. It's, start, it's cycling through every third and adding background to pink. Following the same syntax, we can do the same for our light blue one here. So we're gonna say three in, because we want it to cycle through every third and start on the second, sort of offset by two. So three times zero, zero, plus two is two. Three times one, three, plus two, five. One, two, three, four, five. So now you can sort of see the math behind all this. Again, for this last one, three in plus three, and that is how we can cycle through three different colors. If you wanted to do four, let's just do this, copy this, and we're gonna do, we're gonna need to change all of these to cycle through every fourth. Four, 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 and let's make this a boring color. We'll just say light, light gray. So there's our fourth, and four. So this is how you can do, just have this four in based on however many colors you wanna cycle through. So if it was two, you'd bump that down to two and you'd only go to two. So there we go, that is this tutorial where we talk about nth of type and functional expressions. How fun. The more you know, I hope you learned something today. Let me know if you have any questions about this or anything else uh, just around Squarespace in general. I love helping out people with their Squarespace websites and small businesses. I love it, I love it so much. So have a good day.